Hello and welcome back to another video of Saiken. My name is Ivan and I am currently running solo on Mission Impossible Difficulty. It's very tough, tough. So, welcome back. We're continuing our Mission Impossible solo speedrun, timely something something, the exquisite timing um, alternative. And the only thing that happened uh, since uh, the last time is I modified our AK with a good old uh, thermal scope. Uh, we need room in our backpack, so I think what we're going to do is we're unloading the other AK and scrapping it, so we're ready to go. And we got a auto 5 if needed. And yeah, Ivan theoretically has Metavion and also combat stims. Oh gosh, this is going to be hard. Very hard. Unfortunately, you can't immediately buy again. So you can see uh, this is expanded. Um, our next route will go through the Legion garrison here into basically here and into basically here and and then up there so let's make our way only six hours and Ivan is uh, well motivated to attack 16 enemies clear weather during the night we have lost the ability to just simply snipe and kill one of them so that's not going to work anymore which means we need to resort back to kind of normal uh, normal measures of good old knife killing ah oh, no 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 oh. well We've immediately been spotted out thanks to uh, to the light here. Should have known better, Saiken. All right, moving up, taking cover. Let's wait for them to come and uh, bomb rush us. They should only be coming from here. Lots of enemies are potentially moving, uh, but we do have a pretty solid position here. I'm not an idiot, Commander. I have kept you safe and sound so far, didn't I? I cannot promise this shot. First fire into his head, severely wounding him. And then breaking line of sight. All right, as good as the AK is, it's not the best weapon for action efficient or AP efficient combat. So I'm sort of hoping that these guys will come a bit closer. Single shot. That headshot didn't work out. Even takes cover again. Oh, we're finally seeing a couple of enemies. All right. All right. These are veterans, which tells us they are a bit stronger. All right, more enemies coming. Fair enough. So we got the auto five shotgun, <clears throat> and I have to wonder: could I clear these guys up? 
Hmm. 14 AP. Let's give it a try. Stands up. Free move to here. Okay, we're seeing enemies, no problem. Nice little hit. Free move, bomb rushing their face. That's two for the price of one. We're back to eight. Moving up. Even does not take any prisoners. We're almost out of ammunition. Alright, reload would be like what? Three, okay. I move. Three moves to here. Crowd controls this guy into burning and fully moves into cover. Alright, we need to reload. Well, that was a successful round. Uh, the build is coming together. Sniper is trying to take a good position on us. Of course, we can't let that happen. This guy is uh, one of the more dangerous uh, enemies, just from his positioning. Alright, Ivan hides, they can't see him, Ivan reloads, that's important as well. And Ivan just takes cover. For now. Alright, these guys just solidly run into the burning. No fuck was giving. They can't see me, we're hidden at this point. And we got our shotgun. Unfortunately, our shotgun ammunition isn't uh, the greatest. I am hoping that we're going to get a little bit more. Hmm. He's severely wounded. He's wounded. Yeah, we're just moving up. I move. Ivan moves up. And shoots him right into the fire. Well done, Ivan. You definitely showed them who's boss. Um... Bit of free move, okay, cool. And hunker down. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five down. Have we killed any more? You have orders. Reload. Hide. 
getting a bit low on ammunition here. Switch back to our true and tried uh, AK. And more enemies are coming in. This guy, I think, spotted us out. Nice, good job, Ivan. Um, yeah, not sure about uh, the guys upstairs there. So, shortly moving over here. Still sneaking, takes cover <coughs> and waits for more enemies to come in. Good, how many action points? Six. Let's hit this guy. Nice, nice, very well, uh, well done, almost dead. Did we really hit no one? All right. Well, he's tired for whatever reason. The others may or may not be tired. I don't know. Did we hit them? Good, that's a kill. We're hiding again. And... Back into the shadows we go. Okay, apparently they had been hit, all of them, but it did not immediately show. He could one-shot us if we're not careful. Well, well, well. One enemy left. Does he see us? No, we're still hidden. Thanks to always killing the enemies, they can't give away our position. Uh, now we're no longer hidden, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, let's just take cover for now. Let's move out. Now the sniper comes in. <clears throat> I heard. Oh, check. All right, we're continuing to take cover. Oh my lord, three more. A few clowns. <clears throat> 
One. Защитную позицию принять! And two. There are still hostiles in the area, but we did very well. Ivan has uh, killed most of uh, the enemies. That was a good run. A to standard, we get some more cash, that's good. We have a lot of 44 caliber ammunition. Our washer pack looks healthy as well. Um, yeah, it, okay, but not great. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of the pipe bombs. Can we disable that stupid light here? No, apparently not. I move. Yeah, we can't disable the chest. Let's double check that there is no sniper up here. I think we got all of the snipers. But boy, that position here is super oppressive. Luckily, we could hide behind the uh, rocks here, which was the exact counterplay needed. In my last playthrough, I needed to rush in from here into that position, and the sniper. There was no great counterplay. This time they needed to run in, and we did actually quite well. Personal favorite moment, using the Auto 5 shotgun and just bum rushing their face. Yeah, there is the last sniper. That guy is severely wounded and is now taking aim. Interesting. No. Whew. Luckily he missed. Fantastic. Good, that was the last of them. Oh, look at you! A beauty! That is two high explosive grenades. I'm sure I can uh, make something out of that. Made to standard rounds. Unfortunately, he did not uh, leave his sniper rifle, which. That is one of the disappointing uh, parts of this game. The enemies are using like top tier weapons and then they just drop the ammunition. I would take any sniper rifle or any rifle at this point so that I could put a silencer on it. More 40 cal ammo. God damn it, a Winchester would be great. Okay, so what do we have in the sector? I think we've pretty much found all of the items. A couple of herbs. A little bit of experience for us and that's really it. Our armor is still looking okay-ish. I think he, over here there was a bit of salvage. I know we could salvage that, but he's not good enough of a mechanic to do that.
All right, I guess that's as good as it gets, guys. Killed the entire enemy uh, troops and took no damage in return. But it was close. The sniper shot at the end could have gone either way. Luckily, it was Dark Knight. Okay, now the age-old question, do we take the underground sector here or do we go G11? Okay, I think we're going for G11. It's the shorter route. <coughs> Let's see what this is going to bring us. All right, off to the Great Forest. Finding ourselves some herbs. Let's hope uh, we're getting some more loot. Ooh. Ooh, a Winchester in a pristine condition. Well, who would have thought? All right, this is going to change the game a little bit. Uh, we're... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, so I got some flashbangs that we may or may not uh, use. I like flashbangs, I don't want to uh, get rid of them. Combat stims. Um, they are not bad either. I really want to use the MGL. That one is great for long range. Uh, inventory space really, really tight. Are we getting rid of our fence cutter? No. Sucks, but the Winchester is too good to not use it. Armor piercing. We're going to start with match because that is a better chance for aiming well that was really good yeah, I look more here all right what else do we get parts that's always good locksmithing kit, kit isn't bad but our mechanical is too low I hear you are actually paying minus you need to kill the major right I know from a very I'm uh, not sure if there are... Uh, yeah, 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 wait, wait, wait. There were... Uh, there were mines here. Let's cash this one in. Pretty sure there was a mine here and a mine there. Pretty sure there were two mines here. But of course Ivan is not really good at uh, good at finding them. Couple of random dead people right there. The villagers look suspicious. Why are there so many dead people? Good. Well, that find changes quite a bit, doesn't it? Winchester is good. Winchester indeed is very good. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is I will need to kind of save scum a few modifications on it. And I don't want to bore you with that, but we're effectively going to go through that. Let me just um, rinse and repeat, try to modify the weapon. Be right back. All right, so we modified uh, the weapon with a suppressor and an iron sight. Uh, and I also decided to use our wire cutter to uh, cut open the, uh, the pipe bombs. 
which will allow us to create gunpowder and that in return we can use in order to craft more shotgun ammunition which is the ammo that we are having almost none of but now we do have winchester and things are looking up Auto travel time five hours easy peasy let's do that and I don't want to be exhausted so let's just wait out the exhaustion and we're going over in a second there we go so I wonder I think it's a good idea to get into the bunker and do it might be some good loot in there. There's no one outside, so there isn't really any major loot here, but inside there could be some loot. And what I'm trying to gather is a way of um, raising his strength by two further points. In order to get uh, the perk that allows us to gain more AP when making a kill in close range. Even somehow also recovered a wound. Maybe from just chilling. Okay, well, I'm not complaining. It's actually not bad. Alright, going underground. Oh, oh, I remember that one. I'm not sure if we can do the entirety here. It's going to be rough. <clears throat> but there is some really good loot down here. <clears throat> oh yeah, I remember that. It's basically the machine gun here and then everybody is going to storm in. I don't know, guys. Uh, that might be one of those uh, moments where we can kill a few of them, but not all. I sneak kill now. <laughs> yeah well well can always retreat yeah I remember quite a few enemies here well maybe more enemies than I remembered I'm not an idiot, Commander. Watch your language. Treating. Well, I'm not sure if um, the guys are going to reset or not. <laughs> it would be funny if they would. Um, let's try that out. I think we could always just retreat. Enemy force located locally. Пошел, пора заработал. 
Intruders! Alarm! Okay, listen, this is not a very honorable way of doing things. I get it. But we need to find an entrance here. Like I said, it's not honorable. <laughs> but we're going in and out. I need to use whatever we can. With our stealthy perk, uh, we can at least stand there without being seen. And we can kill one at a time. Still experience. We need to level up. I move. I hide. Oh, Galupchik. Where are they, Dad? Work out. I hide. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Almost. I think we've gotten most of them. I hide. There we go. Got a nice LM14 here. I sneak. But since our biggest problem is inventory space no all right we need to get a little bit deeper in oh 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 snipers oh, okay well huh. That is still in range. Taking cover. And the sniper apparently just decided to not follow up. Okay. Has a covered head. I don't like that. Reload armor piercing. Hide and heal our wounds. Good, there is one more sniper left over. Respectively, a raid leader. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't want to trigger the massive amount of enemies that uh, would be coming through because that would be suicidal 
but I think we got kind of half of the bunker. Nice little AK here. We just jump over there. Oh, okay, that is done on purpose so that you are actually going down, which I think would trigger these other guys, wouldn't it? At least it did the last time. Hmm. I do have an idea. We can still loot everybody with a uh, with a good old trick. Um, to go into the sector loot, unload, scrap for parts, and we got an M16, <coughs> five millimeter ammunition, <coughs> which we do not have a lot of, so it's not worth it. Matter of fact, we I think had like 30 rounds, the so 30 that were in them. But we got some parts. Reload matching ammo just for the aim bonus for now. I and I think that's it. If I go in further, we're going to trigger the event. And that would likely be deadly. I move. Yeah, we still got something out of it. No need to be ashamed. We are getting closer to Chalet de la Lay. Best soldiers fight and do tasks. Same time. Без вопросов. Even must uh, kill two enemies at point blank range. Well, that should not be a problem for some extra XP. There are enemies around here. Potentially in the camp. I remember no mines in the sector, which is a good start because that means we're not just running onto something. Yep, but they are. There they are. Might be able to sneak up here and get them from the side. that unknown number of enemies here hmm. the MGL is good <clears throat> but I want to use it for later <clears throat> purposes I think if we can snipe one down and then take it uh, play it by ear that would be helpful the other option is Just shoot through the fence here. I sneak kill now. We got company. Hide again. And yeah, we're just hiding. Okay. Well, John Kruber. Where are these guys coming from? I don't remember anyone. 
in here. Idiot, commander. I beg your pardon, I'm not an idiot, commander. I told you that multiple times. Good. Um, we're just using a Molotov. Letting these guys burn. And hungering down here. Uh, I wonder. Shock Assault would be great. I still want to go and set up line breaker <coughs> frog leaping wouldn't be bad <coughs> rage would be good vanguard would be good do we commit to that shotgun uh, type of build i mean it is not bad in terms of just chain killing And line breaker isn't bad either, so both are helpful. And shotguns are strong, like there's no way around it. On the other hand, uh, frog leaping would be immediately a support. Uh, rage would be great, but we're soon losing our wounds because we get treatment. Hmm. But we might regain wounds, so that's not really an argument. This here is unsure with line breaker. We only have three more, uh, three more levels to go. I think frog leaping uh, would be the obvious choice for more free movement to get closer. Um, nah, we're going shock assault and then. Uh, wanting to go for line breaker. One of them is panicked. Get out there. The other one has used this comet stim. Interesting. Well, he will be exhausted very soon. Switching tactics. We're hiding. And we're waiting it out because now these guys do have a problem. Both are combat stimmed. Now burning. And are significantly weakened. Okay, cool. One down. Two down. Hide, hunger, and let's see. We're hunkering one more turn. Reload hunker. Okay, no one is coming in. Fair enough. Seen us. I am dead if more wounds arrive. Так точно. Иду в атаку. All right. Conveniently got back to eight wounds. But with that, we are also raising our medical skill. So not the worst thing in the world. There you go. Ivan gets some medical. Fantastic. Shotgun ammunition. Best thing that could have happened. 
F and Fell is good, but we do not have any room for more weapons. MP5. More parts, that's good. These guys were quite good. I think the middle door was trapped. Blade Chartner. Uh, yeah, we don't have melee weapons, so. Good, more parts. And I think that's pretty much it. That is the entire loot. We have Grinchy and money. And more Grinchy and money. Nope, nothing. All right, but that also brings us to a good cliffhanger. We fought our uh, way uh, valiantly through the jungle and Chalet de, uh, de la Paix is uh, the next uh, station on our road. We want to go there, beat the desert scorpions, uh, which will be helpful, then get Dr. Care so that we finally lose the eight wounds. And from there, I think we're going to like, take, make our way here, 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 and essentially all the way up there. Ivan has made quite a bit of progress. I think we have a fantastic weapon with the MGL. Our Auto 5 is definitely pulling its weight. Uh, there is no question about it. That's It's a really good weapon. Inflicts bleeding, narrow attack cone, a little bit longer range. That's actually not bad. Uh, it's a good ammunition for it. Um, our AK is fine as well, but we're missing uh, proper parts to modify it in terms of modifications we could get a muscle adjustment instead of a suppressor might be not a bad idea uh, more accuracy bonus would be helpful the bipod uh, is definitely an option that we could think about We're just laying down and hitting all of the shots yeah, we don't want Overwatch builds, so that's not happening. And we have decided for a vertical grip, so no grenade launcher. That, Alternatively, that could have been the kind of compromise to put a grenade launcher on here. And essentially use this as a mixed weapon. Uh, but maybe we just need to play without grenade launchers. I like the idea of a grenade launcher and I also like the idea of further modifying the AK. Had been a true uh, and trusted weapon. So if we're giving that a bipod, that would be not too bad. And maybe we're actually giving it the accuracy bonus against subsequent attacks. No, no, we're not, we don't uh, want we don't uh, want further uh, recoil booster. More shots are not helpful. The compensator is better. That means more hits and bipod also would be helpful. We do not have any chips, elsewise red dot could have been a thing. And then the AK is already fully, uh, fully modded, so that's good. In terms of in terms of our Winchester, the next um, option to get a proper scope up here, quick scope in particular would be great. That requires a lens, so if we could find a lens somehow, a uh, quick uh, prism scope would be definitely a solution. And the MGL, 
tell you what that's a bit of a that's a bit of a problem we have too little uh, too little inventory space I'm thinking about ditching the combat stims they are fine but they make you exhausted afterwards and exhausted or tired afterwards and tired means no free movement and no free movement is inherently bad so that'll make us a sitting duck so this is a bit of a trap we could dodge uh, ditch them for something else we're running low on explosives so i need to be a bit more careful the molotov cocktails actually worked very well in this run so far so that's good but yeah a bit of modification of the ak would be great anyways that's uh, the end of today's episode thanks for watching guys if you enjoy the lone wolf run leave a big fat like and a comment uh, in the section down below and see you in the next episode Bye bye